Hello there. It's good to have you join us again on this edition of Dateline Lagos. Today on the program, we'll bring you more details of the British Prime Minister Theresa May's meeting with Governor Akinwumi Ambodi as he woos UK investors to invest in the state. Now, the Lagos State Government also targets 97% literacy level partnering NGOs to train out-of-school girls on basic literacy skills. And the governor has also unveiled an ultra-modern ferry terminal with an official announcement that reforms in the state's water transport sector are on course. Welcome to the program. I'm Jokia Rogers. Let's begin with Governor Akiwumi Ambode's assurance to investors from the United Kingdom and indeed across the world to consider Lagos State as their first point of call. The governor made the remarks when he welcomed the British Prime Minister, Theresa May, for a one-day visit to the state. On her part, Ms. May assured the governor that the United Kingdom is ready to partner the state with the creative industry and technology. Police and other security operatives making final arrangements as everyone awaits the arrival of special guests, the British Prime Minister, Theresa May. At the presidential wing of the Muritala Mohammed International Airport, the Lagos State Governor, Akinumi Ambodi, is around with his deputy and some other members of the state executive to welcome Ms. May, who is on a one-day visit to Nigeria as part of a three-day trip to select sub-Saharan African countries. Before long, here comes the Prime Minister, on board Royal Air Force Presidential Airbus ZZ336. Governor Ambode receives her and they both proceed to a meeting behind closed doors. The meeting lasts for only a few minutes before she proceeds to her other points to visit around the state. The Premier visits the Salvation Army headquarters where she meets with some victims of modern-day slavery and later to the FMDQ Security Exchange building, both in Lagos. And back to the airport, Miss May tells the purpose of her visit. We want to see increased trade between Nigeria and the UK, increased investment, bringing jobs here to Nigeria, jobs in the UK, being good for both countries. And I've had an excellent time here and I'm very pleased to have been able to visit. Governor Ambody expresses the readiness of the state to partner with the United Kingdom, with whom Nigeria had been partnering since the 19th century. The important part of this visit was more or less for us to discuss about how you know, investments in Lagos can be improved upon by British investors. And you realize the fact that uh, Lagos is the commercial capital of Nigeria and a whole lot of British investments are actually domiciled in Lagos. So we spoke about how we can improve the investment climate and then the other parts of the, what Lagos has been doing to attract investors. You know, we've been doing a lot on judicial sector reforms and security sector reforms. And she was pleased with the progress that we're making in Lagos and are ready to, you know, complement her efforts by you know, opening up uh, export credit facility and also development finance to some of the things that we're doing in Lagos. We spoke about, you know, things relating to technology, um, infrastructure, and also the creative industry. You, the relationship that Lagos has had, you know, Lagos in 1861 was a British colony, and so the history has been so long that we need to just reactivate that and also make sure that uh, a whole lot of British investments come into Lagos and she's pleased with the progress that Lagos has made. While he sees her off, Governor Mbadi speaks on the last longing impact of this visit, which he hopes will be repeated. <laughs> <laughs> 